My name is Associate Professor Anthony Byrne. I'm a respiratory physician pulmonologist at St Vincent's Hospital in Sydney. So some of the common symptoms that you would experience at home from COVID-19 disease would be a fever, uh, fatigue, a uh, sense of lethargy, uh, just feeling like you don't have any energy to do things. Um, there's more specific ones such as loss of taste and loss of smell and common ones also include headache, uh, muscle aches and also those that are affecting the lower respiratory tract. Uh, so that would be things like a cough, sometimes sputum production, chest pain and also breathlessness. Signs that things are getting worse. So what we know about COVID is there's a large spectrum of disease. Some people have very mild disease or almost no symptoms and some people have moderate and some people have very severe disease. And the red flags, if you like, the really severe symptoms to watch out for that us as doctors would be really concerned about would be things like coughing up blood, um, it would be chest pain that's more than 10 minutes uh, in duration and breathlessness that's at rest and it's stopping you from doing your usual activities, caring for yourself. You can't, you can't walk around because you're so breathless. Um, any blueness around the mouth, uh, that's what we call cyanosis. And that's a really important sign because it means the blood oxygen levels are likely to be really, really low. So you can look at your lips and you look inside your mouth at what's called the mucous membranes. And if they're, instead of being a nice healthy pink color, hopefully like mine are now, um, if they're sort of a blue color, uh, then that's really concerning and you should get on the phone and call triple O if you, if you have any of those concerning red flag type signs. If you're at home on your own and you're starting to be breathless, then a really practical thing to do is to assess how fast you're breathing. So you can count just with your watch how many times per minute you're breathing. This is a really simple thing to do and it's called a vital sign and it's what uh, doctors and nurses do all the time. And a normal, what we call respiratory rate or the number of times you can breathe per minute would be under 20 usually. So if you count the number of breaths per minute and you find that you're counting uh, more than 20 per minute, certainly more than 30, and you're feeling breathless, you might have some chest discomfort, then this is a sign that things uh, could be getting worse for you and uh, you should uh, think about making an appointment to see uh, someone either via, you know, via video consultation because you're, you're isolating. So when do you call an ambulance? You should call an ambulance if you have life-threatening symptoms and for most people, life-threatening symptoms related to COVID would be things like chest pain that's more than 10 minutes in duration, uh, breathlessness that's severe and at rest and is stopping you from doing usual things, um, not being able to care for yourself. You're alone, you can't care for yourself, you're feeling dizzy, you know that things are getting worse, that's the time to call an ambulance. You'll know if you're up to date with your vaccinations for COVID-19. And if you've had three vaccines, if you're over 18 or two if you're under 18, um, then your chance of being hospitalised or, or going to intensive care is just so small. So that should provide you with some confidence. So if you've got a positive test result, you're experiencing mild symptoms such as headache and um, fever and feeling lousy, then chances are you'll be okay and you won't need to go to hospital, but you'll be able to monitor for signs of deterioration.